launching at a slot above Tirano, the Nissan Kicks will be the company's all-new flagship SUV launch for India. Competing with Hyundai Creta, Maruti S-Cross and the SP Concept Base SUV by Kia that is upcoming in the market, the new Nissan Kicks will be based on a heavily modified B0 platform that is used by the Renault Duster. Nissan has only unveiled the car from the outside and what the dimensions are going to be. We still don't have any idea what the car inside is going to look like or what features it might offer. However, from the outside we can see that this car is going to be one of the bigger SUVs in the market and also it's going to carry features like all-around cameras for parking assist. So today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Nissan Kicks which is going to be launched in January 2019 in the Indian market. So keep watching and subscribe to Pick Better if you haven't already. One of the first things you'll notice about this car is that it's not very upright like a Creta or it's not even beefy or butch but it does look spacious enough to be a good sized SUV. Although there is the styling definitely looks like more of a crossover like an S-Cross than an SUV. However, Nissan has been using terminologies which definitely point out that they're going to be launching it in a bigger SUV segment. Nissan definitely has worked extensively on the framework. Even though the Kicks is based exactly on the B0 platform that is used by the Duster or the Tirano, it's much longer than that. So it's heavily modified. Talking about the front, that added extra chrome on the V-Motion grille definitely makes an impact. The headlamps are quite stretched out and they feature LED DRLs, LED projectors for low beam and halogen reflectors for the high beam. Looking at the car from the side, you can see that the A and C pillars are blacked out, creating a floating roof effect. Even though the Nissan Kicks is not a butch looking car, it definitely screams I am tough. With the body cladding, skid plates and the roof rails. The roof rails are also not integrated, giving it a very masculine look. You can clearly notice the increased length at the rear and this clearly translates to better luggage space on the inside, especially as compared to what Nissan and Renault have to offer currently. Talking about the engine, we can expect Nissan to pick up one of the B0 platform engines that are already used by other cars like the 1.5 litre 4 cylinder 110 PS engine or the petrol engine which is 4 cylinder again with 1.5 litre in 106 PS of power. The diesel engine can be expected to be paired with a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed AMT while the petrol engine can be expected to be paired with a 5 speed manual or a CVT. Nissan has confirmed the launch of Kicks in India for January 2019 and we can expect it to be priced somewhere between 11 to 15 lakhs on road. So we still don't know what the Nissan Kicks will offer on the inside as features but what do you think? Is Nissan Kicks going to be the make or break car for Nissan in India? Especially considering the low sales number of Tirano. Whatever you think, let me know. I want to know what do you think if this car is going to compete with Creta well or whichever other car you think. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Until then, all I'm asking you to do is pick better.